Time now for the bringing back, yes, the reemergence of Clarion Connection with Ron Wilshire. And I was going to sing Welcome Back, like Welcome Back, Cotter, but I, I think I'll spare the listeners today. As you said, you've got nothing, <laughs> but, but we've got something. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me again. Uh, on Clarion Connection today, we have Bill Henry and Jamie Lefevre from the Clarion County Economic Development Corporation. So we're going to talk to them and see what it is that they have. And... Uh, uh, on the website, they say, welcome to the Clarion County Economic Development Corporation. Our mission is to help wealth generating companies to stay and grow, to start up and to locate in Clarion County, Pennsylvania. Let's use that as a starting point. Uh, Bill, I guess you're uh, the president of the EDC? Currently, yes, I am the president of the Clarion County Economic Development Corporation, have been for the last three years. I, uh, I'm ending my term or my tenure uh, this year, and, and Jamie's going to take over as president uh, for next year, and I don't know how far on, but um, and yes, we uh, our mission is you know we look for wealth gen generating companies to create family sustaining jobs in Clarion County. Uh, we also assist existing companies uh, in the county to uh, stay here. Um, you know, to try to keep keep them here and keep uh, family sustaining jobs here. How actively does the EDC recruit companies? I noticed on the the website a lot of uh, your activities and that seem to be resources available for companies that they're, if they're thinking about coming to Clarion, is there any activity to actually recruit and bring companies here? Um, yeah, I would say it's a daily activity. I mean, we, uh, we, we have resources to help the existing companies. We also um, are out there looking and trying to get uh, new companies into the area um, on a daily basis. I have probably been in the past year a dozen meetings personally to work toward bringing new opportunities to Clarion County. Is the EDC a, a county organization, or is it independent of Clarion County? Um, um, we're, we're an independent uh, corporation, but we do receive funds from the county. So, you know, we are. Yeah, we're a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. We have uh, members. We always encourage more members. Businesses and individuals mm -hmm. can become members to help support the mission of bringing jobs to Clarion County. Um, the county gives us a lot of support. They... they uh, you know they're they're a big backer of us, and, and we try to support what the commissioners are looking for. Right, we want to work closely with the commissioners and have had a great relationship and appreciate that. So. How many members do you have? I think we have about a hundred members right now that range from individuals to corporations to retail, all across the board, different types of members, and uh, we hold different activities for the members to come to. The members are welcome to come to our board meetings and sit in if they wish. How do you become a member if, if someone out there in Radio Land is listening? You know, they don't quite have their trading post list ready. Uh, how do you join? Well, I've been the um, chair of the membership committee for all uh, four years, I suppose. So we actively ask people, recruit. We have part of the director's job is to go out and visit with people and talk to them about becoming a member of economic development and supporting the corporation. So we do have a committee that does do that. Um, if anybody is interested, they could just call the office at 226-9045. Um, you know, if, if they have an interest in membership, we definitely would welcome anyone Absolutely. who wants to help support the mission. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, really, I, I guess, in a nutshell, we want to keep our kids here. Uh, you know, at some point, we'd like to see the point when where, where they can stay in the county, have jobs, and, and be here. Now, you are all volunteers, uh, members of the board of directors. Is That's that correct? correct. And in the past, you've had a, a paid professional as, as the uh, executive director? Correct. Okay. And this, uh, Brad Earhart, I believe, recently left, and you're undertaking a search now for a, a replacement? That's correct. We are currently searching for a new executive director. <laughs> um, the search is ongoing at this point, and... and uh, you know, we, we're hoping to find the right fit for the corporation. What type of person are you looking for? Um, I guess the best thing to say is we want a salesperson, someone who can sell Clarion County to the to the world. He has a passion for Clarion County and understands Clarion County and what, the way we are and who we are and can sell that to people to 
get corporations and anybody interested in visiting Clarion County and believing in us the way we do. Well, how would you sell Clarion County? Um, <laughs> well, I think we sell it every day, and I think I sell it every day. I talk to people about, you know, I've been here, why, why we're here, the opportunities, it's safe, we have a quality of life, we have an engaged community group that wants to work together, we have natural resources, um, a lot of organizations, the university that pull together. So I think that coming here with a family or a business, they'll find it friendly environment to start up and be here. I noticed on your brochure that's available on the website, you list a number of uh, resource partners in Clarion County. And as you mentioned, they uh, include the Small Business Development Center mm -hmm. and the, the many activities going on at the Marn Center. We work closely with the Small Business Development Center, um, the Northwest Commission. We work together with the university. We're hoping to even strengthen that relationship going forward. Uh, I know Dr. Whitney has certainly reached out to us. And uh, we look to um, even get greater with them. And uh, Phil, do you want to elaborate on any other the career link? Uh, boy, there's so many, and it, and everybody has their own niche as to what they're good for. I mean, we've done things with Be Ben Franklin Technology Partners, um, the Clarion Area Chamber, um, the Career Center, Clarion Career Center, um, Clarion County Industrial Development Authority. We work closely with. Um, I'm probably missing more. I see the governor's action team. I, I can just I can think of different things that just as time goes on, day after day, year after year, that we've, you know, some some we probably work with more often than others, but it depends on the opportunity that arises. How flexible can you be in attracting businesses to Clarion County? I hear stories of uh, years ago, Sealy and were, were tax. I, I don't think any of you were on the. The uh, council back then. Not at the time. Not at no, the time. But 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 uh, you know, stories about you know, was the county uh, aggressive enough in, in trying to keep businesses here? Well, probably what I can, and, and this is this is more. I, I can't speak directly to Sealy because I wasn't here, but I, I'd have to think that they probably have the same types of flexibility that we have. Um, I did have some dealings a few years ago. Um, and a lot of things we do are confidential, so I can't really give you any names at this point. Uh, a lot of the people don't want their business out there. But uh, it was a major international corporation uh, was looking to do some location in the county, in the state. And um, the one comment that I can get that I came from them is, is, is uh, as a county, we gave them everything that we could give. We did everything we could do to try to get them here. And they basically thanked us. They said, I, you know, I thank you very much, but if the state doesn't kick in, the little piece that you're doing, we really appreciate, but it's just not enough to make the big difference. Uh, the state is probably the biggest portion of bringing industry from outside, whether it's into the county, but even into the state is, is probably a, what makes it hardest for us. I mean, we've done everything we can do, and it's still not enough because they're not looking at locating between Clarion and Venango County or Jefferson County. A lot of these places are looking at locating between Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, West Virginia, West Virginia mm -hmm. Kentucky, all over the United States. And, and uh, you know, the, 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 we can do as much as we want to do, but the county is a smaller portion than, than what the state can bring to the table. How is your working relationship with the state? Overall, our working relationship with the state has been very well. They've, they've actually helped us in a lot of ways, and, and, and I guess the, the, the portions I'm talking about are kind of over our abilities. They're, they're outside of what we can really influence. Um, Anytime we've needed our representative, she's been there. You know, something comes yeah. up, so we call, and, and you know, Donna's state. been great showing up. And, um, we and had an issue one time called the Governor's Action Team. By the next day, they were working on mm -hmm. it and dealing with it. Um, you know, I mean, they've 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 stepped up where they could for us, but just some things, you know, policy is policy, and those things can't be changed. <laughs> Quickly, I know, I know a lot of it was out of the local control w with the glass plant, net, but it seemed like a lot of effort was generated in, in trying to uh, uh, either replace or, you know, if, if possible, get them yeah. to stay. But I don't think that was in the cards, but. Uh, do something with that area. Are you, are, is the EDC still working with that, or, or is it more of a private uh, sale from Owens? At this time, I believe Owens is 
is the uh, handling that situation. And what we did was we, we worked with them and talked to them, you know, after we found out about the situation. It wasn't anything we were privy to prior to, but we'd worked with them ongoing throughout the years. You know, business decisions are made. And certainly if we can help with the sell or bring somebody in to use that, we would be more than glad to jump on board and get there and talk to them. So it's always open for us to, to do that. And I believe OI knows that. I think yeah. they're more than aware that we'll be yeah. there. We're in, we're in conversations with OI, I'll say on a regular basis, you know, it's not monthly or weekly, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, we talk to the, the people that are in charge. Um, even during ongoing, I mean, I was in direct discussions with OI to try to keep them here with, with the top, I think it was a number three guy from mm -hmm. OI they was here in. a few times. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's, it, it, was, it was their business decision. I can't fault anyone for that, but I, but I you know, I didn't want to see it happen here. They... We even were trying to help them before we even, this is before we even knew anything about them leaving the area. We had programs in place that they opted not to take um, a year before that, uh, ongoing with our mission to, you know, assist in keeping business in Clarion County and things like that. Um, in hindsight, I can see they probably already had an idea what direction they were going when they didn't take some of the opportunities we had presented to them. I think you had mentioned earlier to, in a private conversation that somehow uh, you guys were involved with energy assistance for Owens? Yeah, it was an energy audit. It had to do with water. They were losing uh, thousands of gallons of water, and, and uh, um, we had uh, brought, I believe that was the Pentap people. I believe it was. That came in mm -hmm. and, and helped do an audit on that to find the problems and then found them some uh, matching grant money to, uh, to help correct those problems. And, and that was probably about a year before they closed that we were doing that. I mean, it, it's an ongoing thing. I mean, and you saw that there was, a, like you said, Ron, there was a lot of people that were really uh, involved when, when they announced their closure. Um, you know, these are things that we've been doing, I've been doing personally for the last six years, um, you know, getting involved and, and uh, trying to uh, keep this going on, not just when there's a, a huge announcement and things like that. And I applaud those people for, for the support they had there, but I, I think that's something as a county, we need to have ongoing all the time. You know, uh, people need to get involved and get out there and and uh, see what they can do and, and to help the Clarion County Economic Development Corporation. One small step is just become a member. Exactly. <laughs> How frustrating it is to work in secret so much of the time, and uh, <laughs> people really don't see everything you're doing. And of course, most of you are volunteers on the job. It's it's unbelievably frustrating. Yeah, I wouldn't call it secret, but confidential to the people, the partners, <laughs> because we certainly are an open organization. But, yeah, sometimes you want to tell everybody everything, but, you know, we certainly respect the confidentiality of the people that we're dealing with. And, you know, when there's a win, we want everybody to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's a slow process. It, mm -hmm. it really does not happen as fast as, as I know I would like it to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, things, things move at a lot slower pace than really would like to believe they would <laughs> well the show's moved much faster than I thought it would and uh, we're gonna have to take a break now for some commercials when the snow starts to fly, you'll want a tire that you can put your confidence in. Bad weather and tricky road conditions can test your vehicle's performance, so be sure that you select the tires that are right for your driving conditions before that snow flies. At Carly Tire, we can help you assess your tire needs. For winter conditions, check out our Cooper Weathermaster ST2 tire. This tire was developed with a high traction tread and features patented snow groove design technology. The Cooper Weathermaster ST2 has biting edges for excellent snow and ice traction. With Cooper Tires, you don't give up a thing. Stop by Carly Tire, the area's largest selection of tires on the Greenville Pike and Clarion. They don't have a phone? They don't have a phone. They don't have a phone. They don't have a phone! You can post a job opening on a lot of websites that don't offer very good or even any customer service. We're not like that. We're ClarionVenangoHelpWanted.com and we have a phone with real customer service human beings at the other end. They don't have a I can't believe they don't have a phone! We're here for you. ClarionVenangoHelpWanted.com. Long name, amazing results. After years of being humiliated on the playground, and having your bad hair and thick glasses ridiculed, and mixing plaids with stripes, who's the nerd now, huh? ClarionVenangoHelpWanted.com 
invites all IT professionals to post their resumes with us. Local employers are currently seeking to fill IT, sales, programming, and medical jobs. So, Nino, 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 Mr. Popular. Clarion Venango, HelpWater.com. Long name, amazing results. These are tough economic times. Wall Street failures and bailouts have created a lot of uncertainty. We're not a Wall Street bank, we're a community bank. We're Main Street people, not Wall Street people. We're rated one of the nation's strongest banks, rock solid, safe and conservative. Make the strong move back to Main Street. Bank with us. Clarion County Community Bank, member FDIC. You've got a strong bank behind you. Welcome back to Clarion Connection. I'm Ron Wilshire, and my guests today are Bill Henry and Jamie Lefevre from the Clarion County Economic Development Corporation. Before the break, we were talking about how long and sometimes frustrating of a process economic development is in Clarion County. I know, Bill, you've some, had some firsthand uh, <laughs> uh, experience with that with the, uh, the industrial development site n near Knox. Yeah, the Clarion County Commerce Center is uh, 78 acres, I believe, over by Knox off Route 338. Yeah. yeah. 70 some. 70 some. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> Lots. About 35 acres of shovel ready. Um, I have been on that committee probably since I've been on the board. I mean, being from Knox, that's been probably one of the things I've been passionate about to try to do something with. Um, honestly fraught with a lot of problems um, we had a lot of talk of water and sewage and uh, it actually even took me a little time to get electric in there um, it's and I guess those are the things that are frustrating to me I'd, I'd like to to say boy in a couple of years we could have things up and running and going of course once we got everything ready to go then uh, there was tolling on I-80 uh, that we spent I don't know a year and a half two years dealing with that that uh, basically shut down economic development across the corridor, not just in Clarion County, but I've, you know, industries from Sharon to Williamsport were just stopped doing any expansion um, because of that. Uh, fortunately, we were integral and, and fought in that battle very hard, and, and, uh, and I don't want to say it's gone away because Act 44 is still in effect, but, but we've calmed it down. Um, Colmar Center is a uh, KOZ, Keystone Opportunity Zone. Uh, basically, uh, it's a tax-free business site. If you located your business inside the Colmar Center, um, you would not pay taxes for 10 years, state taxes, um, whether that be property, local property taxes. The, both Keystone School District, um, Beaver Township, and Clarion County are on board, and they all had to agree and sign on to that. There's also another Keystone Opportunity Zone in um, Monroe Township, the Trinity Point. Um, again, they've got the support from, from all three entities within the county, and, and that's a big key to everything, too. You have to have everybody work together. If any one of those entities would have said, no, we're not going to do it, then, then we wouldn't be able to do it. So, But even uh, Trinity Point's been a pretty long haul in terms oh. of, because uh, I remember Joe Grunewald talking about that it was at least a 10-year time period between talking about something like the barn center and actual completion mm -hmm. exactly exactly and, that, and that's someone who's who's a lot smarter than me to figure out how to do it <laughs> <laughs> so and it's one more reason why if if you're out there and have some ideas let let these people know also if um if you have any friends that used to live in the area that have moved on for other jobs uh, you know sometimes those are a good source of, of possible businesses coming back Yes. We, we've seen that the um, uh, age group where they left, they want to come back. They want to come back and be here and work here. So I think there's opportunity with our younger generation, younger than me, I should say, um, but older than 20-year-olds who might want to come back and start up a business because of, because of the environment in the area. And we'd like to be able to attract them and say, hey, bring us your ideas, see if we can help you get some training dollars or whatever there might be out there for them. So, so Clarion County has two essentially tax-free zones that businesses could locate in. Yes. If they're mm -hmm. interested in starting. Yep. Now, I noticed that there seems to have been some development off the, the Brookville exit in terms of um, industries uh, locating there. Are you in competition with, with some of these things? I, I don't feel it's competition. I mean, we, I guess the best way I can put it is, is when a business looks to locate in a community or in an area, 
they are looking for specific needs. And to be honest, if we can't supply those specific needs, then I'd love to see it in the Brookville area or even Venango County or down by Emlinton. Uh, and the reason being is because people in Clarion County also work that's close enough that we can get mm -hmm. jobs for Clarion County people. So if we don't have what we can sell to them, I want it as close to us as we possibly can get it. So um, some ways we complement. Everybody has different things that they can offer, different items, and, and I think that's a, a complement as far as I'm concerned. If we can't meet the need exactly, and, and uh, you know, I'd rather lose it to uh, Brookville than I would to um, another uh, state, Lancaster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It's, so our I mean, people can at least work and invest back into our community, buying groceries and goods and cars and you know keep the employment up or i down. know a number of people look, work over in brookville and it's mm -hmm. you know it's, yeah and they're good, good jobs and they're going to be a big part of the community mm -hmm. now in addition to these two um, tax-free zones i know you're at work at some other projects in uh, clarion county including rymersburg yes um we are assisting a, a company uh, that everybody knows the davis cookie plant in rymersburg uh, at least everybody in the southern end of the county <laughs> archway <laughs> yeah um, um and and we're proud to say I, I don't know how much i can speak to the effect of what that company wants to do but uh another cook, cookie company is is working toward locating down there um we um were fortunate enough to have an endowment made by the uh somerville brothers um specifically for rymersburg sligo Toby Township and Madison Township. Um, basically, they they gave their estate to support business was given to the Clarion County Economic Development Corporation to specifically be used in those areas to advance economic development. Um, so far, we've done three loans. We we turned it into a revolving loan program, uh, low interest to help support businesses and and move things along. Um, and one of them that uh, will probably be announced later on um, has to do with the new cookie plant that's coming in. And, and I'll let them, uh, as they do their press releases here over the next uh, day or so, um, give you more specifics on that. Now, who were the Somerville brothers? Fred Somerville was uh, the, the person who, in his will, left it to us. Um, a long time a person in Rymersburg. I didn't know him personally, but uh, we were we didn't know about it till after he'd passed and realized that he had left the money to us. And so he obviously believed in economic development, wanted to make sure things did happen in, a, in that specific area. And it's been happening because of I mean, Gibbs Greenhouse, um, Bloomtown Flowers. Um, they've already benefited from that and open businesses because of that. So we're fulfilling his wishes, and uh, it certainly is a good feeling to know that somebody thought enough of us to leave their money so we could help that area. Yep. Yep. Well, that's, a, that's a real plus for the area. Now, some of these uh, economic development uh, concerns, you have a, is it a monthly uh, breakfast that offers people a chance to your presentations? We have a quarterly, quarterly. eggs and answers. Quarterly eggs and answers. And what we try to do, uh, there's one December 1st, which I believe is tomorrow already, at 7.30 at the Holiday Inn. And what we do in the December one is we always do the economic forecast. We have bankers come in and talk about what they believe the future is going to be economically live from the banker's point of view. It's always well attended and it's always very enlightening to see what they think. And then the following uh, eggs and answers, the marketing committee sits down and looks at issues that may be gone on that would attract people to come or hot topics, if you will, in regard to that. So then we'll have another one probably February, and then we um, have them quarterly. June, September, we always have our legislative update. Yeah. It's an ongoing thing, and it's, it's fairly well attended and c continues to grow. So. Uh, since this is rebroadcast, if uh, anyone's listening <laughs> live on Wednesday, uh, how would they make reservations for uh, the Thursday morning breakfast? Well, tomorrow morning they can just show up at the Holiday Inn at 730 and they can um, actually pay at the door. Or they can call Mary Jo Ford at the office at 226-9045 uh, and she will uh, write down their reservations for them. But they can show up tomorrow morning at the door and pay. Since this is about economic development, uh, I guess we're almost obligated to ask about the impact of Marcellus Shale and the future of economic development in Clarion County. Any quick observations? Um, the Marcellus Shale in Clarion County, I mean, I think uh, my personal observation is is we're, uh, 
we, we're we're a few years out till we're really going to see anything exciting get off the ground. I think I think it's going to be uh, and and honestly, I think it's going to be more the Utica shale than the Marcellus is what's going to hit our area the most. Um, we've been talking to different companies about different activities to possibly bring into the county. Um, I've probably been in four or five meetings this summer alone just mm -hmm. related to Marcellus shale. Marcellus is the hot button, whether it's Marcellus or Utica, but, you know, Marcellus is <coughs> typically what everybody talks about. I'm looking for support, the, the support industries, uh, pipe yards, things yeah. like that, that uh, could possibly come in and set up. I think it's in our future. It's just uh, the, the industry itself has to prep itself to be at Clarion County. What advice would you have if someone's thinking about starting a business in, in Clarion County? What, what, what types of things should they be looking at? Um, the first is probably um, if it's a new startup and someone who's never been in business, the, the Small Business Development Center is probably the first place they should Get their visit. business plan started. Get a business plan started. Mm -hmm. Come see us. We can get them. Uh, hope, uh, grants are hard to come by, but we can lead them in the right direction for low interest loans um, and, and things they need like that. For uh, the business plan, is there, is there any charge for that? You'd have to talk to the SBDC. I'm, I, there may be a small, small fee, but I don't think it's very much at all. There's no charge to come see us and get directed by any means. Yeah, so. yeah and that's where we can get you. In, I mean, and we've mentioned Ben Franklin, PenTap. Depending on what type of business and what its needs are, we can, we can get you to the right direction to get things going. Um, if it's a larger business that wants expansion, we can help. We also have a program where we do visit most of the businesses in the county on an annual basis to see what their needs are. Do they need some sort of assistance, whether it's job training or expansion or funding, or maybe they just have a problem with a law that they need us to mm -hmm. help with. <laughs> how many members are on your board? We have 16 board members. 16, and how are they appointed? If anyone is interested out there. Um, let us know if let you're interested know. in it. Absolutely, we try to keep yeah. it diverse. You know, We have from banks to real estate, Manufacturing, we like a diverse board. So, uh, yeah, if there's interest, get a hold of us. And that number again is 226 9045 or 226 9043. Okay. And uh, you have a website, uh, just Google Clarion County Economic Development Corporation. And uh, more information, more information than you ever imagined is available. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, which, which you need today uh, in today's world. Well, Bill and Jamie, I'd like to thank you for joining thank me you, on Ron. Clarion you, Ron. Connection today and enjoyed it. Uh, this is uh, live on WWCH and rebroadcast on C93. Tune in next week for Clarion Connection.